Wow. Mint condition. A lightly used original steering wheel. Airbag good condition as well. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Wow. But you know what else would be pretty amazing? So get this crap off and put something new on. Let's get to it. All right, so the very first step in replacing or removing the airbag or steering wheel on your car, you have to disconnect the battery for about 20, 30 minutes before you actually touch the car. That way, you know, the airbag module and all that good stuff, it turns off, resets. That way you can safely, you know, mess with the airbags on the car. That way they don't accidentally deploy on you and stuff and you die, you know. So there it is, disconnected. I know this jump bar is kind of in the way for that, but uh, it's off. So now we wait. As you can see, the airbag is coming out. Now, behind the steering wheel, there are three holes holding in the airbag. You're going to need a little screwdriver to get inside those holes. And for me, I believe it was this direction that uh, popped out the airbag on each corner. Um, you can jack a car up. That way it'll be easier for to turn your wheel because, you know, it's kind of tough to get behind that spot here. Um, I'm on the ground, so I just went ahead and steered the wheel. Now, once you popped it off, it's not going to fall out. Um, just be very careful. There are two connectors on the airbag. You're going to just unplug those and we'll go from there. To disconnect the connectors, you're going to need a screwdriver to pry up the yellow tab here. And once that is up, you go ahead and pull both of these out. And do not forget this little ground thing that's on this little tab here. So I pulled that off of my thumbs. I was kind of on there tight. So the airbag is off. Garbage. So got your connectors, got this little connector. I'm going to move that out of the way. There is a 21 millimeter nut holding the steering wheel in place. I'll get to that right now, but let me just go ahead and take off this horrible wrap job that I've done. Yeah. Oh yeah, and don't forget the buttons. So I'll get to that right now. Let me just figure this out. So the trim is uh, is screwed on with little torque screws. And in my case, it just snapped off, it broke. You know, very quality GM plastic. The buttons on the trim is screwed on, very, very tiny Phillips screws. I'll go ahead and remove that in a minute. Um, I had the heated steering wheel, so I disconnected that from the module here. And the module is also on the trim, I broke it off. It is held on by tiny little torque screws, so keep that in mind. And then to remove that, there's little torque screws there. And yeah, and I'll, after I get all that loose and figured out and sorted out and everything, I'll go ahead and remove the steering wheel. Be very careful and be very patient because this um, stuff is pretty brittle. It's a bummer, but you gotta work with it. So for the buttons, I already got one side done. So there's these little black things here that slides right off. And that's what makes the buttons, you know, go up and down. So I'll go ahead and just remove those. And as for the buttons themselves, they're like clipped on. So you got to get a tiny little screwdriver and fit it on one side and just pry it and just push a little bit. Try not to break it and it'll pop right off. And as for these, they screw on, they just come off. Just, you know, don't lose the tiny screws. And yeah, when you get the 21 millimeter, get a extension because it's kind of tricky. But once the nut is off... Make sure your steering wheel is straight and your wheels are straight before you even doing this. Now, to take the steering wheel off, it may be hard or maybe easy. So really, all you do is pull and wiggle side to side, up and down. Just try to get it out of there. And once it's, you know, coming out, make sure you kind of like let those slide through the hole. Okay, it was tricky getting this heavy thing out. Yes, it does have a little bit of weight. So what was getting caught was this little thing here. It was encased in this black plastic. You're gonna have to split it open and get that out so that's all the wiring for the steering wheel pretty cool out of pure curiosity i went ahead and dissected the airbag so this is the cover does a metal plate the airbag sits inside of it this little bracket and this little uh logo piece is very flexible and to pop it off you pretty much have to scratch the the material on the airbag and chances are once you do yank it out it's gonna be all bent but um yeah if you want to replace this it's a lot of pressure so i would not do that on the car because you might have the airbag go off on accident the steering wheel i mean it's in bad condition the leather's fading really bad 
I like the wood. The wood's nice. It's just, you know, it's dirty. It's old. It's original. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. This is for the airbag. I think this is the one that, like, is for the air or something like that. I don't know. Pretty cool. Now I just wait for the new one to arrive. Okay, well, UPS came in very late, but here's the old wheel. That's the new one. Yeah, that's right. Whew, man, that's exciting. Let's get to it. All right, so the new steering wheel stinks. Smells really fresh. Um, the connectors are all slid through. Now I got to go ahead and get the trim, get the wiring situated, plug the buttons back in, bolt down the trim, make everything look good, and finally close it off with the new airbag. The steering wheel is now in place. So now for the beautiful and exciting finishing touch, the white airbag. Oh my goodness gracious, fellas. Damn. All right. And this is nighttime, so I'm really excited to see this tomorrow morning. But, yee, man, look at that. All right. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, it feels so good in the hands. Oh, man. So I drove around a little bit. The lights do work on the right side. The volume is kind of bright for some reason. The left side, those lights don't work. However, the buttons, all buttons do work still. I tried it on the radio and on my phone plugged in from the aux. The, it, the, the buttons work. It's just the left side, there's no light. What I'm thinking is because I disconnected the, the heater, like the steering wheel heater element thing, that's disconnected. So um, that's probably why there's no light maybe, but the, they still work. So I found that kind of odd, but whatever. It's not gonna you know, affect me from liking this damn setup so much, but it feels so good. You know, making that turn, it's just grippy. It's not slippery no more like from the other wheel. The flat bottom feels so good. You know, the suede, the stitching, the, the leather, the carbon fiber. Oh my goodness gracious, man. Horn still works. Feels good in the hand. Whoops, I thought I had it in neutral. Oh man, it feels so good. It's centered. You know, my steering wheel wasn't like that to go straight. It was centered perfectly. Oh, man, I'm very happy with this setup. Very, very happy. Well, it's daytime. Now the steering wheel pops out a lot more. It looks really good. Damn. But, um, yeah, if you're unsure of what's going on in this particular STS, I've been wanting to buy this car for a few years, so um, I've been making videos on that Project STS. You might want to check that out if you're interested on, on my build here, but that's the steering wheel. Thank you for watching.